Hey everyone, Mitesh is side. So let's start with the question. So the question is minimum deviation in an array. So you are given an array nums of n positive integer. You can perform two types of perform up operation on any element of the array now any number of times. So if the element is even you will divide it by two. For example, you can see if it is one, two, three, four. So you can change this four even number to two. Similarly, if the number is odd, you can multiply it by two. So if it is one that is odd, you can multiply it become it become two. So what you need to do is basically calculate the deviation. So deviation is just the maximum difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. And you have to return the minimum deviation by following this operation. So let's see with an example. Okay, so let's see. So this is way we will calculate our deviation. So deviation is basically max element minus min element of your array. And you have to output the minimum deviation by do the following operation. So this are the operation you can perform any number of time. Okay, so let's see with an example. So this is the array that is given to us. So let's say we have if we calculate first deviation from here. Okay. So deviation is maximum. So maximum is four and minimum is one. So your deviation will become three. Okay, let's see how can we minimize the deviation or not. So let's say I have decrease this basically divide this even number by two. Okay, so it will become one, two, three and a two. Okay, so this is now array become. So let's calculate our deviation for this also. So we will take the minimum. So right now it is three and let's calculate for this case. So maximum element is right now is three and minimum is one. So this will become three minus one. So and this is minimum of this. So deviation is now two. Okay. Now let's calculate. Uh, can we do more optimized or minimum deviation? So let's say I increase this one by two. Basically multiplied by two because it is odd number. So it will become two two three two. Okay. Now let's calculate the deviation So it will equal to minimum of two comma the maximum element is three and Your minimum is element is as you can see there are two only so it will be two so three minus two So now it will become what so as you can see we get the R optimized minimum deviation so i hope you got the question so let's see how we can approach this question okay so if we thought according to our brute force what we can do we can like take every element and do the following process but that will take so much time because if you do the operation for all element like for this case one two three four you will change this one two two then four similarly you will change this two similarly three so this will take so much time so much of time can we like Optimize it or can we think in different approach? So if you can see in the question There are two operations that we need to perform. Okay. This is first. This is second Okay, so what we can do is basically can we basically see can we optimize this two operation into one only? So if you can see if the element is odd multiply it by two Okay, so let's take some odd number. Let's say one three seven nine. Okay, if you multiply it by two multiplied by two All will give us the event result Yes, is it like every element of odd will give you even number So what if our whole array is a even of array even elements of array? Okay then we need just need only this first operation. Okay. So basically, I was just dividing the quotient into smaller parts so that it will be easier for us to solve because we have two operation. So for two operation, we need to track all the two step instead of two operation. Can we convert this into one operation? Okay. So as you can see, I have converted this all the odd numbers into even numbers. So if you can see our array is one, two, three, four. It will become the even as like all odds will become two. So it will be two, two will remain as it is three. Uh, sorry, it will be six and this will be four. And then we calculate the minimum deviation because it will also give the same result as previous one also. Okay. 
so we have converted so this will be our first step okay like we convert all the arrays into even of array okay so let's see how we can move forward okay, so this is our original array so with our first step it will become something like this two two six and a four okay now what we need what we basically need to calculate deviation and deviation is how we calculate so we need a maximum element every time and we need the minimum element every time okay so what we can do is basically we need some sort of a data structure which have all the element inside it and which can give me the minimum element also in better complexity and maximum element also so what we can use a uh, in java we can use a tree set okay so let's take a tree set I can see plus you have order map also. So let's take a tree set. Okay. So what we will do, we will take all this list and insert into our tree set. Okay. So let's create a tree set. So it will be like two, two, and then we insert six. Sorry, two will be only at once because it is a set. So two, six, and a four. Okay. So after like uh, updation, it will become something like four six okay so this is much clear to you okay now what we need to calculate is a deviation so how we calculate deviation so deviation is just max minus min okay so if you calculate the we can easily get this first element from a set so this is our first and this is our last so if we calculate deviation so deviation for this case equal to six minus two equal to four Okay, so this is our first deviation. Okay, but we need the minimum one. So how we can optimize it more further is Okay, so what you need to do you need to take the maximum element and reduce it every time Okay, because uh, for the event case in the question it's mentioned like you can divide the element or divide the element by two Okay, so we need to make it as low as possible so that we get the minimum deviation Okay, so what we will do we will we will divide the maximum element and insert this into our set so we will what we will do 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3 okay so and we will insert this so, so now our tree set look like something this 2 3 and a 4 and we will remove this okay now we again calculate the first and again calculate the last so now our deviation will become in this case like it will be 4 comma 4 minus 2 okay and it will be a minimum so deviation is now 2 okay now we again do the same steps we do the same step again so what we will do we will take this element out so we will take the 4 from this and we will divide it so 4 divided by 2 equal to 2 okay and we will insert this into our set so as 2 is already present so it will be become like this 2 and a 3 Okay, now we again calculate the first and last. So this will be first. This is the last. So now your deviation will become minimum of two comma three minus two, and it will give you one. Okay. Now, but you will do. Uh, you will take out this three element, and you will do three by three divide by two. Now, in case of odd number, we can't divide it because uh, in the question it's mentioned like for the odd number you have to multiply. So as you can easily see if we divide it it will give the number as lesser as this so we don't need to go lesser than this what we will do we will stop at here only and we get our final output okay let's see with another example also okay so this will be your original array so what we will do we will optimize it by making it as a even array so it will become 4 2 10 20 and a 6 okay now what we will do we will take a tree set okay and we will insert all this element inside that so it will become something like 2 4 6 10 20 okay what we will do we will calculate our deviation so this will be our first this will be our last we will calculate a deviation so it will become deviation equal to 20 minus 2 equal to 18 okay 
now we need to do the same step we will take this maximum element from this and we will what we will do we need to check whether this is even number if it is even number we will divide it by 2 and insert it into the set so it will become 20 divided by 2 equal to 10 so 10 is already present so now set will become something like this okay. now we again take this first element and this will be our last element okay so now deviation will become 18 comma 10 minus 2 okay so this will become 8 and we will pop up this 10 element from here and we will do 10 divided by 2 which become 5 so we will insert this 5 into our set so it will become 2 4 5 6 okay we again calculate the first and we again get the last so your deviation will now become 8 comma 6 minus 2 so it will be 4 you again take out this element okay you take the last element you do 6 divided by 2 it will become 3 and you will insert this into this so it will become 2 3 4 5 this is your first this is your last you will again calculate your definition so it will be 4 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 now you can see your last number is odd so if you can see the approach we can't go lesser than this number because this is the maximum cap we can reach by dividing all the element as low as possible and by taking the largest number also so this will be your finite like this will be your final maximum element which you can get and this is odd so you can't reduce it so this is your final deviation okay and you will just stop here and you got your final output as 3 okay, so let's write the code for this okay, so we need a tree set so let's write tree set of integer let's give a name okay, now we will insert the every element into our set and if it is basically you can say a uh, odd number what you need to do you need to make it a even number so it will be e into 2 and you just insert all the element inside your set after that you have to do some step okay so let's take a difference value or deviation which will be your maximum from start which we need to lower this value okay so what we will do while your set is not empty we will do some work okay we will take the first element which will be your set dot first we will take the last variable set dot last now we will calculate the deviation so deviation equal to math dot min deviation last minus first okay after this what you need to do you need to check if your last number is even you will do something else you just break because this is odd so you will not go further and you just come out of the loop and you just return your deviation okay. now let's handle this uh, if condition if your number is even what you need to do you need to first remove this from set so set dot remove last and you need to insert the last divided by 2 uh, I think we have covered all the cases so let's run the code so this is accepted let's 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 submit the code So as you can see this is accepted and now calculate the time complexity for this so if you can see what we are doing here is basically take all the element and insert it into the set so in inserting into a set in the tree set because tree need to update so it will cause you n log n because n for all element and you need to update that set also every time and for this case like this will be our only a loop overdoing so it will be n and in this case this will be a big of one because 
reset already take two pointers for first or last so and this will be order of one now what you are doing here is removing the element from the set so it will cause you again login and this doing like you were doing this for let's consider your last will be 2 to the power 31 so what you are doing basically if it is a even number you will do this for some let's let's do like you will do divide by 2 similarly divide by 2 so it will cause you a log of let's consider it as uh, basically log of m so your final time complexity will be big of n log n n log n log m where m is your maximum value of your integer or a long okay so i hope you like my video thank you for watching this